is a, is a, is a, is a I'm listening, there's so many adjectives I could throw her direction, um, but impactful is important these days because a lot of people uh, talk without substance, you know, especially because of social media. So to have someone impactful and to do actual things to, to motivate others and, and for people to feel empowered, and just a very dope poet. Can we make some noise for my girl Monica, everyone? Just <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Monica Garcia Signs, and tonight I'm here to speak my piece. I do normally read poetry, however, um, tonight I bring you an excerpt of my coming book, and it is my journey into self love. And this is the first time I ever share it publicly, and I'm hoping that this, like, now obligates me because now I shared this publicly now it obligates me to finish the book and publish it <laughs> so this is called my truth there she was hiding in the darkness of the shadows doubled over in pain her body covered in scars cold naked afraid alone angry at herself and the world she carried within her an insatiable hunger and an unquenchable thirst. And for as long as she could remember, a deep-seated feeling that something great was missing from her life. She felt cheated and betrayed, and in her confusion she wandered aimlessly in circles, blinded and lost, unable to understand how her life had unraveled so deeply or how to escape this eternal nightmare she was trapped inside of. The days were all a big blur and hope was nowhere in sight. Still, she prayed with all of her heart for peace, tranquility, and wisdom, for strength and clarity, for guidance and help because she understood without a shadow of a doubt that this was too great of a challenge and an ugly battle that she could not win alone. Certainly not in her present weakened condition, she lit her white candle of faith, clung to her rosary beads as if they had magical powers, and prayed as if her life depended on it. And in that moment, it really did. And then one day, the sun shined brighter than any other day before, and the light called out to her softly in the early morning wind. She stood at the open window and basked in the sunlight, breathing in its powerful rays, of love and warming the walls of her, of her soul with its beautiful glow. She picked up a bottle of cool water sitting at the table beside her and drank until her thirst was dissolved and ate from the fruit bowl next to it, bite after delicious, succulent bite, until her heart was content and her hunger was no more. That day she poured peace and harmony into her rose petal bath water along with courage and hope, and grasped her rose quartz heart and soaked in the hot water until her skin was wrinkled and her pain had subsided. She covered herself in a blanket of forgiveness and dried herself with a bit of serenity and joy. As she stepped out into the moonlight, she looked up at the moon goddess and took in her power and strength. She balanced herself in a pose of salutation and honor, feet planted firmly on the ground as love flowed to her and through her and out her extended arms and into the evening wind. It was in that life-changing moment that her amazing transformation into a warrior of light and love began. It was then that she understood the incredible healing power that love could have on herself and the world around her. As she placed her crown on her head and picked up her sword, she made a pact with God, the universe, and herself to embrace self-love daily in every thought and action, thus fulfilling her purpose and mission of becoming love in action and spreading the powerful message of self-love and healing to anyone and everyone who would listen. She remembered the ancient story of a wise man whose sole purpose was to awaken humanity to a truth so powerful it would set everyone free. I am the truth, he said, and the message of his truth was love. 
to love yourself first so greatly that you may find peace and healing and then allow that love to spiral outward to all of humanity until, until fear and pain are no more. Thank you for letting me share that with you. So the books that come out this year, feel free to send prayers and positive energy and find me on social media, Monica Garcia Signs, and then, you know, where's that book? I'm waiting for it. Thank you. Right on. Thank you.